Eyewitness News. Good afternoon, I'm Madison Carter. Just into our newsroom, a priest in training at Christ the King Seminary in East Aurora is now joining a growing list of people calling for the resignation of Buffalo Bishop Richard Malone. Now this all stems from the ongoing sex abuse crisis that's been rocking the church. 7 Eyewitness News Chief I Team Investigator Charlie Specht live outside the Catholic Center in Buffalo. He has the late breaking details, Charlie. Well, Madison, we've heard criticism of Bishop Malone before, but never of this magnitude and rarely from someone who wears a Roman collar of a Catholic priest. Now, seminarian Matthew Bojanowski, a current seminarian in the Diocese of Buffalo at Christ the King Seminary, took the step today of saying that he will resign his position at the seminary. He says the reason for that is that he was sexually harassed by a current Buffalo Diocese priest, Father Jeffrey Nowak, and that Bishop Malone took no action on this and did not remove Nowak until we aired a news story about it two weeks ago. Now, Bojanowski is a second seminarian in four days to resign from Christ the King Seminary, even going so far as to call for the seminary's closure. In his words, until it serves Christ and not Bishop Malone and his lackeys. Here's what he had to say. I am calling on the faithful parishioners of Buffalo to understand that the Diocese of Buffalo suppresses the truth in relation to sexual abuse. There is no transparency in Buffalo Diocese and there is no justice for victims of abuse, whether the victims are children or adults. I call on Bishop Malone to resign immediately so that an apostolic investigation can be carried out in the Diocese of Buffalo. I am calling for the immediate excommunication of Buffalo's Bishop Richard J. Malone for not honoring the seal of my confession and probing my confessor, Father Nowak. Now, Bojanowski's dream of becoming a Catholic priest in the Diocese of Buffalo appears to be over. As for Father Nowak, when we asked him about these allegations two weeks ago, he quickly got off the phone and said he did not know anything about them and referred us to his attorney. As for a response from the diocese, we reached out to diocesan spokeswoman Kathy Spangler, and we have not heard anything just yet. Live from the Catholic Center, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News. Strong words from that seminarian, Charlie. Thank you. We'll have more tonight on your news at 5 and 6.